Shri Pranam Mukherjee ji, Rashtrapati ji, on behalf of the National Integration Tour, which has been organized by Nine Assam Rifles, so we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude towards you for having let uh, your valuable time for this tour, which has come from all the way from More, Manipur, to New Delhi. So this is an initiative by the Assam Rifles under Operation Sadhbhavna of Ministry of Home Affairs to enable the students of remote areas to interact with the mainland India and to share their experiences which they can take back home. It is also an initiative and an opportunity for them to broaden their horizon so that they can see the development that is taking place in the country and can see their future and their responsibilities towards the same. So the tour has been organized from 19th of October till the 28th of October this month. And they have been to various historical places like the Jama Masjid, the Red Fort, the Raj Ghat, and also to uh, religious places like the Lotus Temple, Eskon Temple, and have been also acquainted with the modern facilities which are prevalent in modern cities these days. This is the first time they have seen malls or the PVRs and have been given a short experience on the same. Sir. I would now uh, like to uh, invite two students to share their experiences about this visit that they have gone through till date. First is uh, Ms. Tithim Hokip. Good afternoon, everybody. Respected President, Major, and Captain, and all my dear friends, it's a great privilege to stand in front of you. I am behalf of the student of from Moret Sandil District, Manipur. I'm happy to stand there because it is used to a summary for, and we a summary for, and we can visit in several places with the benefit for us. The places, the important places, which includes Rajgad, Lotus Temple, Zoo, Air Force Museum, Indra, Indra Gandhi Museum, extra, and even we travel in metro train and we enjoy a lot. We are the students. We are reading only in a theory, but hopefully this time, with the heart of a samurai, for we can visit our capital, Delhi, capital city, Delhi, and also. We know that our president is changing, but in the real, we cannot find, see it. But this time, hopefully, we see our president. In these few words, I would like to conclude my speech. Thank you. Sri uh, Pranam Mukherjee Ji, Rashtrapati Ji. Sir, I would like to uh, request uh, to accept a felicitation on behalf of the children. Sir. captain, beloved students, I am glad to welcome you to Rashtrapati Bhavan. You are coming all the way from Mode, the border town between India and Myanmar, to Delhi, the capital of India, not merely for contemporary period, but Delhi is an old ancient city. There is a saying that there are seven Delhis. From the days of Mahabharata to contemporary period, Delhi witnessed the rise and fall of various dynasties. I am glad that you have chosen to visit many historic places with which 
Delhi is associated. You are coming from a very beautiful land, Manipur. Once Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru described Manipur as the land almost paradise on earth. It's beautiful scenery, beautiful people, highly cultured, polite, gentle, artistic. People of Manipur have contributed to the rich culture of this great country. Surely, during your stay here and interaction with various people, you have come to know how large India is and how India is a land of diversity and there is an underlying unity amidst diversity. Manipur is a land which enjoyed freedom till 1891. People of Manipur is fortunate in that sense that they enjoyed their freedom till 1891 under the rulership of King of Manipur. British government, after defeating Tikendraji, captured Manipur, but again it became independent, at least part of it, and particularly your own region, Mori, in 1944, when Indian National Army, under the leadership of Subhash Chandra Bose, liberated a part of Manipur and hoisted the national flag. 